You're listening to Radio Lewis when the music matters, and welcome to Guess the Year, the nostalgic music and trivia quiz show. Remember, this is just for fun. There aren't any prizes, but do try not to cheat. I'm going to start your first musical clue with Earth, Wind and Fire.
fantasy from Earth, Wind and Fire. Now, in January, uh, the United Kingdom holds the presidency of the Council of the European Union for the first time, and the Ford Fiesta goes on sale in the in the UK. Uh, and after releasing only one single for the controversial punk rock band, the Sex Pistols, EMI terminates its contract with them in response to its members' disruptive behaviour on TV's Today and uh, at London Heathrow Airport. And Clive Sinclair introduces his new two-inch television set, which retails at 175 quid. That's an awful lot of money for a TV that you've got to squint at. I've got some more music now from Candy Station. Nights on Broadway there from Candy Station. Now then, the 4th of February saw Fleetwood Mac release the album Rumours, uh, which became a Grammy Award winning album, featuring songs that include The Chain, Don't Stop and Go Your Own Way. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, Queen Elizabeth, during February, visits American Samoa. Uh, Anthony Crossland, Foreign Secretary, suffers a massive stroke. Uh, from which he will not regain consciousness, and uh, very sadly died six days later in hospital. On the 15th of February, the very first Ardman Animations character, which was Morph, was introduced on BBC children's television programme Take Heart. I do love Morph and his naughty friend Chaz. And what else? 
David Owen becomes the youngest post Second World War Foreign Secretary, succeeding Anthony Crossland. And there was a state opening of Parliament of New Zealand by Queen Elizabeth II as well. Next, we got some cheap trick. It's not worth me saying it's I want you to want me, is it? It's about the only one anybody ever knows from uh, Cheap Trick. Uh, the Royal Family were very busy in this year. Uh, between the 7th and the 30th of March, Queen Elizabeth visits Australia before going on to Muscat. On the 17th to the 23rd, the Prince of Wales visits Ghana. James Callaghan threatened to withdraw uh, state assistance to British Leyland unless it put an end to the strikes. And a uh, about 14 days later, British Leyland managers announce intention to dismiss 40,000 toolmakers who have gone on strike at the company's uh, Longbridge plant in Birmingham, action which is costing the state-owned car maker more than $10 million a week. On the 19th of March, the last Rover P6 rolls off the production line after 14 years, and income tax is slashed to 33p in the pound from 35p in the budget. I don't know what the next track is, I haven't looked. Yes. Silence me, leaving no trace I beg to leave 
wondrous stories from yes there. Okay, we're into April. Uh, Mike Lee's Comedy of Manners, Abigail's Party, opens at the Hampstead Theatre, starring Alison Steadman. Uh, the 2nd of April, Red Rum wins the Grand National for the third time. On the 8th of April, The Clash released their date. There, put my teeth in, shall I? Their debut self-titled album is released in the UK uh, through CBS Records. Uh, the Embassy World Snooker Championship moves to the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield and attracts television coverage for the very first time. Um, on the 23rd of April, National Front marches clash with anti-Nazi protesters in London. Um, and British Aerospace is formed to run the nationalised aviation industry. More music now from the Dead End Kids. kids there with have i the right okay we're into may uh light aircraft carrier hms invincible is launched at barrow in furnace by the queen uh the third g7 summit is held in london on the 7th of may uh as is the 22nd eurovision song contest with angela rippon as the presenter the contest is won by uh marie i'm not sure how you say her name i think it's miriam Representing France with a song Le Zoo et l'Enfant, The Bird and the Child. The British entry, Lindsay DePaul and Michael Moran's uh, Rock Bottom, takes second place. On the 10th of May, uh, an explosion caused by potassium and sodium occurred at the Dunray nuclear power plant. Uh, on the 15th of May, Liverpool FC are English League champions for the 10th time. The UK is among 29 signatories of a convention on the prohibition of military or any other hostile use of environmental modification techniques. That's a hell of a mouthful, 
but I think it means uh, banning the use of chemical and uh, biological weapons. And I think that will do for now, although it's a little bit of a morose one. We'll go on with some Randy Newman. Randy Newman's short people. Um, Manchester United win the FA Cup on the 21st of May for the fourth time by uh, defeating Liverpool 2-1 at Wembley Stadium in the Cup Final. It's their first major trophy since they won the European Cup in 1968. On the 25th, Liverpool FC win their first European Cup by defeating West German League champions... uh, I can't pronounce that, I'm very sorry. 3-1 in the final in Rome. I told you the Queen was busy, it was Jubilee year as well. Uh, The Queen opens a new air terminal building at Edinburgh Airport. Uh, And Prime Minister James Callaghan officially opens the M5 motorway, now complete with the finishing of the final stretch around Exeter, 15 years after the first stretch beginning near Birmingham was opened. The uh, Jubilee Tour climax at Windsor with celebrations and a gala performance for the Silver Jubilee held at the Royal Opera House in London. And on the 6th to the 9th of June, Jubilee celebrations are held in the UK to celebrate 25 years of Queen Elizabeth's reign, and with a public holiday on the 7th. Anglia TV, or television, broadcasts the fake documentary Alternative 3. It enters into the conspiracy theory canon. And I think we'll get on for some music from uh, the darts. Whoa, come back, my love. Don't go away. Come back, my love. Come back to stay. I love you so well. I want you to know I need your love so bad. 
Comeback My Love. July 7th sees the first episode of the BBC documentary series Brass Tax aired featuring a debate about whether Myra Hindley should be considered for parole from the life sentence she received for her role in the Moors murders. Obviously, she didn't get a favourable uh, outcome from that. Jolly right, too. Uh, on the 11th of July, Don Revy uh, announces his res- resignation after three years as manager of the England f- national football team. Uh, Within 24 hours of resigning as manager of England, he accepts an offer to become the highest paid football manager in the world when he's appointed manager of the United Arab Emirates national football team on a four-year contract. Manchester United appoint Dave Sexton, manager of Queen's Park Rangers and uh, previously Chelsea, as their new manager. On the 23rd of July, Chrysler Europe launched the Sunbeam, a three-door rear-wheel drive small hatchback similar in concept to the Ford Fiesta and Vauxhall Chevette. And uh, on the 29th of July, the Finance Act abolishes the collection of tithes. we got some Michael Naismith now. I'm hearing the light from the window I'm seeing the sound of the sea My feet have gone loose from their moorings I'm feeling quite wonderfully free And I think I will travel to Rio Using the music for flight There's nothing Behind fancy, there's wings to the thought behind the play, and dancing to rhythms of laughter makes laughter the rhythm of rain. So I think I will travel to Rio using the music for play. There's nothing.
From Michael Naismith. What have we got now? We're into August. And Kenny Del Gleish, the 26-year-old Scotland striker, becomes Britain's most expensive footballer in a £440,000 transfer from Celtic to Liverpool. Uh, and uh, cricketer Jeff Boycott scores his 100th century of his career for England against Australia at Headingley on the 11th of August. The 13th of August saw the Battle of Lewisham, an attempt by the far-right National Front to march from New Cross to Lewisham in south-east London, leading to uh, counter-demonstrations and violent clashes. A new smaller £1 note was introduced on the 23rd of August, if you remember a £1 note, of course. And on the 26th of August, the first all-Luton-built Vauxhall Cavalier Mark I family cars roll off the production line at... Uh, the Vauxhall Motors factory there. This is Bacara now. Ooh, here comes that man again. Something in the way he moves makes me sorry. I am a lady. Hello, stranger. You're a danger. To the law I know the hill. They don't in our city
the game and you are to blame. Albacar and nobody should ever apologise for being a lady. Okay, in September, Ford launches the second generation of its flagship Granada station, uh, sorry, saloon and estate models. Uh, by the 6th of September, the car industry figures show that foreign cars are outselling British built ones for the first time. Japanese built Datsuns, German Volkswagens, and French Renaults are proving particularly popular with buyers, although British built products from Ford, British Leyland, Vauxhall, and Chrysler UK are still the most popular. Sadly, on the 16th of September, rock star Mark Bolan is killed in a car crash in Barnes uh, two weeks before his 30th birthday. His girlfriend, Gloria Jones, who was driving the car, is seriously injured. On the 19th of September, Manchester United, the English FA uh, Cup holders, are expelled from the European Cup Winners' Cup after their fans rioted in France during a first-round leg game with AS Saint-Étienne, which ended in a one-all draw. Freddie Laker launches his new budget Skytrain airline with the first single fare from Gatwick to New York City costing a mere £59 compared to the normal price of £186. And uh, right at the end of the month, the UEFA reinstate Manchester United to the European Cup Winners' Cup on appeal. However, they are ordered to play their return leg against AS saint Etain at least 120 miles away from their old Trafford Stadium. We've got more music now. This is Graham Parker and The Rumour.
Back the Night, of course, from Graham Parker. Uh, on the 7th of October, Queen's Power Ballad, We Are the Champions, is released. And what else can I tell you? Uh, the World's End Murders, the 15th of October. Christine Eady and Helen Scott, both 17, disappear after leaving the World's End pub in Edinburgh. Uh, their bodies are found tied and strangled in the countryside the next day. In 2014, serial killer Angus Sinclair is convicted of the crime. The Sex Pistols again. They release Never Mind the Bollocks. Here's the Sex Pistols on Virgin Records. Despite refusal by major retailers to stock it, it debuts at number one on the UK Albums Chart the week after its release. In a promotional stunt, the group perform on a boat on the River Thames shortly afterwards, only for the police to wait for them and make several arrests, including that of Malcolm McLaren, the band's manager at this time. And I'm going to leave October there and bring you something from Cerrone.
Yeah, super nature from Cerrone there. Okay, not much happened in November, but I will tell you that on the 22nd, British Airways inaugurates regular London to New York City supersonic Concorde service. On the 3rd of December, the England football team fails to achieve World Cup qualification for the second tournament in succession. Uh, a couple of Nobel Prizes. Um, James Mead, Nobel Prize for Economics, and uh, Francis Mott, uh, Nobel Prize in Physics, jointly with Philip Warren Anderson and John Housterbrook Van Vec. I don't even know what fundamental theoretical investigations into the in electrical nature of magnetic and disordered systems means, but now you know. Chrysler Europe announces uh, its new Horizon range of five-door front-wheel drive hatchbacks, which will be built at the UK uh, Chrysler plant, and in France uh, as a Simca. What more can I tell you? What more? Uh, the Queen opens a £71,000 extension, sorry, £71 million extension, to the London Underground's Piccadilly Line, which runs uh, to Heathrow Central, serving the airport, of course. On the 25th of December, the Morecambe & Wise Christmas show on BBC One attracts an audience of more than 28 million viewers, one of the highest ever in UK TV history. And on the 27th of December, the much-acclaimed Star Wars film, which has been a massive hit in the United States, is screened in British cinemas for the very first time. That really is an event. Now we've got some Donna Summer.
Donna Summer, of course, and Love it Unkind. Now, some movies from this year. I've already mentioned Star Wars, A New Hope, uh, Rocky, Smokey and the Bandit, A Star is Born, Saturday Night Fever, King Kong, The Deep, Close Encounters of the Third Time, and Annie Hall. They were all released in this year. Uh, some of the TV programs you might have been watching were Little House on the Prairie, Happy Days, All in the Family, Charlie's Angels, Sanford and Son, Three's Company, The Love Boat. That's just been reissued for some peculiar reason. Uh, Orlando Bloom was born in this year on January the 13th. And, of course, Elvis Presley died at the age of 42 from a heart attack on August the 16th. Some of the technology... Actually, I'm going to save the technology while you listen to Plastic Bertrand. Bam, bam, mon ça se passe, j'ai sur mon lit à bouffer, ça n'en en buvant, prends mon whisky, quant à moi, peu dormi, vie, débris, mais j'ai dû dormir dans la gouttière où j'ai eu un flash. En quatre couleurs. Un matin, une louloute est venue chez moi Poupée de cellophane, cheveux chinois Un sparadra, une gueule de bois A bu ma bière dans un grand verre en caoutchouc Comme un alien dans son igloo Ça plane pour moi Ça plane pour moi Ça plane pour moi Envoyé du paillasson, limé, ruiné, vidé, comblé. You are the king of the divan, qu'elle me dit en passant. I am the king of the divan. Ça plane pour moi. Ça plane pour moi. Ça plane pour moi. If it's plastic Bertrand, it's got to be Saplan pour moi. Okay, the technology that you would have seen first available. The first Apple II computers went on sale. Uh, the Navstar Global Positioning System is inaugurated by the US Department of Defense. The first ever quadraphonic concert is in London by Pink Floyd. And I mentioned this earlier on, the first commercial flight of Concorde from London to New York. The first MRI scanner is tested in Brooklyn, invented uh, by Raymond Damadian. Uh, NASA Space Shuttle makes its first test flight off the back of a jetliner. And the unmanned probes Voyager 1 and 2 are launched to explore the outer solar system. If you haven't guessed it already, this has been 1977. I've been Ben Fuller. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Radio Lewis, where the music matters. Until next time, I'm going to leave you with the injury and the blockheads. Ta-da. I could be the driver in articulated Louis. I could be a poet. I wouldn't need.
need to worry I could be a teacher in a classroom full of scholars I could be the sergeant in a squadron full of wellers What a waste What a waste What a waste What a waste Because I chose to play the ball in a six-piece band First my nerves, everyone I understand I should be glad to be so inclined What a waste, what a waste What a waste, what a waste Gems and bruises. I could be a doctor with poultices and bruises. I could be a writer with a growing reputation. I could be the ticket man and full of more station. What a waste! What a waste! What a waste! What a waste! What a waste. What a waste. Because I chose to play a fool in a six-piece band. First night knows every one night stand. I should be glad to be so inclined. Sparks the revolution. I could be an inmate in a long-term institution. I could do the world extremes. I could do or die. I could yawn and be withdrawn and watch them gallify. What a waste! Community, 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 webcasting.